What's up you guys? My name is Indy Jamma Jones and today I am going to be reviewing the YRU roller skate that is sold on Dolls Kill. Alright, so before we jump into it, I just want to let you guys know that this video is not sponsored. Why are you didn't send me these skates? Dolls killed it and send me these skates. I paid for these with my own money because I have been getting so many questions from you guys. I had to actually find out myself. So if you've never heard of Dolls Kill, it's a very popular fast fashion brand. It exists mostly online. They have a couple of locations, but it's this giant online shop with a ton of different styles, lots of crazy, funky, different things. And more recently, they've been selling roller skates. So at first it started out that they were selling Impala skates and I've already done a review on those, which you can check out here. I'll link it in the little info bubble. Um, and then they also started selling Club X and YRU roller skates. So Club X is like their in-house proprietary brand at Dolls Kill, I'm pretty sure if I understand correctly. And then YRU is a shoe company that started making skates that is sold on Dolls Kill's site. So that's what interested me about this skate is it's made by a shoe company that doesn't normally specialize in roller skates. So it kind of stood out to me like, is this going to be a good product? Can a shoe company that doesn't know about roller skates successfully make a roller skate? So that's what I'm here to find out today. So this review is going to be broken into two main sections. The first part is going to be me just talking about the skate, looking at it, kind of going over specs and everything, a little bit of sizing, all that good stuff. And then the second part is going to be me actually physically testing the performance of these skates. And then uh, we'll see how far I can push them and what kinds of tricks I can do. So I'm actually going to add time tags down below in the caption if you want to skip to a particular section just to make it easier for you to get all the info you need and make an informed decision about this roller skate. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I ordered these online and paid about $140. There was free shipping and they arrived just a few days after I ordered them. So that whole process went pretty smoothly. Um, this is the box they came in. And when I opened it up, just like this, the skates are wrapped in plastic, but that is literally all that is in the box. Like usually when you get roller skates, there's like a little skate tool or like an information pamphlet about how to like check everything. There's nothing in here but two skates wrapped in plastic, kind of like when you're ordering shoes, which again, this is a company that makes mostly shoes, so I'm not too surprised that they didn't think to include any information about roller skating in here. When I purchased it, the description didn't really have any of the technical skate specifications. Usually if you're buying a skate, you can look at the durometer of the wheel, the rating of the bearing. You can look at, is it a bolt-on or adjustable toe stop? You look at the brand of plate, the brand of trucks, the, the kind of material. None of that information was included in the description of this product. So I had to base it completely on how it looked just by looking at the pictures. And that's the thing about these skates is the pictures look really good. Like when I see it, it makes me go, ooh, I want that skate. Here's the thing that's a red flag. You see how beautiful and uniform the bottom of this skate is? Like it's all white. It's all one color, which looks great on camera. But when you inspect a little bit closer, you realize not just is the plate plastic, but the trucks are plastic too. And you can see like that is a plastic truck. The only other roller skates that I have ever skated that had plastic trucks were the Chicago skates that I got at Big Five. And that video is titled, Do Not Buy These Skates. They were so dangerous to actually skate in. So that's what I'm most curious about these, is will these plastic components actually allow me to skate in the skate? I don't know, we're gonna have to test it out. So let's go ahead and keep on opening this guy. They come with these other like iridescent looking laces but they don't look very helpful. Like, let's see. Yeah, that is, look, they're already shredded. The laces are literally shredded. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, that is not good. Like these, these are shredded before I even put them in the skate. So this is just trash. Do not plan on using the iridescent laces they send with them. But when you pull these out, they have other laces in them. So they must have known that these laces were not good. Um, but yeah, like they sure are pretty. That's the one thing I gotta say. So all we know is what the description has told us about these skates, which is rubber toe stop, rubber wheels. Um, they didn't say anything about the fairings and they just said that it's a polypropylene uh, plate. And so that's all we have to work with here. Um, the other thing that I noticed that they did not specify in the description is that it is a bolt on toe stop. Bolt on toe stop. Um, which means you cannot adjust the height of the toe stop. Like as this toe stop wears down, the, it's gonna get shorter. So you're just gonna have to adjust um, how you stop as the toe stop wears down. Bolt-on toe stops aren't necessarily a bad thing, um, but it is usually a sign of like a lower price point skate. The one thing it does clarify in the product description is that these are made of man-made materials. So this is all synthetic. I do not know if it's vegan or not. That's not specified. Sometimes there could be glues and things that use materials that are not vegan. So it might be worth emailing the company to see if these are vegan or not. So it does say on the box that these are made in China. So it might be worth it to you to check into the company and their sustainability standards and maybe their ethics guidelines. It's really good to be educated about the products that you're buying, especially when it's like a fast fashion company like this. There are definitely some things that you might want to consider before buying through somebody like Dollskill. I think the next thing is going to be jumping into sizing and see how they actually fit so let's get into it oh and i didn't talk about the boot okay so let's look at the boot it has some cushion right here the tongue has some cushion um it's pretty stiff so it's going to offer some ankle support let's do the bend test okay so it does bend but it's definitely got some support there all right so another one of the things that was a bit frustrating about this skate was it just said that it was in u.s sizing it didn't specify if it was u.s men's or u.s women's so i had to guess all right, so I'm double checking the sizing and you can see here in the tongue that it actually says it's a women's eight, a US women's eight. So let me get the other one on and see how this works out. All right, so I have them on my feet. I'm a US women's eight. They say they're a US women's eight, but these are definitely way too big. That is incredibly frustrating. I don't know how they got the sizing so far off on these. Like I use their size charts and everything and they're still too big. So I would definitely recommend going at least one size down, if not two sizes, but they still fit good enough for me to test them out and to get a really good idea of how they perform. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to our first spot, which is gonna be some smooth indoor concrete so that I can get a feel for these skates. And um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go see if they work. So I cruised around inside the coffee shop on the super smooth concrete and they rolled good enough that I feel like coming out to a tiny bit of a rougher surface is still gonna give me a really good gauge of how these work. When I reviewed the big five Chicago skates and I was like, do not buy these skates, they are not safe. A lot of people were really upset because they were like, you're skating outside in indoor skates. So I just want to let you guys know that the only difference between indoor and outdoor skates are the wheels. And these wheels are a bit confusing. They're not necessarily soft, but they're not hard. They're just kind of like this weird in between plasticky urethane rubber stuff. So they felt okay inside. I think they're gonna be totally okay for handling a smooth surface like the top of this parking garage. It's not the smoothest, you know, it's not like an indoor roller rink, but it's not like asphalt. It's definitely a nice in-between that's gonna give me a good idea of how they'll perform on different surfaces. So I'm just gonna kind of do some of the basic stuff, skate around, get a feel for them, and then I'm gonna give you some of my first impressions of rolling on my new skates. So let's go.
and with just five minutes of skating that I just did out here, I have all of the information that I ever need to know about these skates. I can tell you with 100% certainty that these skates are not safe. You should not buy these roller skates. It's exactly what I thought. So when I skated in the big five skates before that had plastic trucks just like these, the trucks were not sturdy enough to support my turning. So whenever I turned, the wheel would actually bend and touch the plate. See, look, that is where the wheel is touching the plate. And every time the wheel touches the plate right there, you could die, you could slam, you could crash. If you're going fast and you're carving a bowl and that touches, you are gonna slam so hard. It's not okay, it's not safe. Okay, so whenever I, whenever I do the crossovers, I'm hitting right there, you see it? I'm hitting right there, hit, right there. Oh God, it's so dangerous. There really should be some sort of regulation on this stuff. Like, I can't believe that, that companies are just allowed to put out products like this that really could hurt somebody. Like, I can't emphasize enough. As a roller skater, I love sharing roller skating with everybody. And I've had so many people lately say, oh my God, Doll Skill has the cutest skates. I'm gonna start skating and I'm gonna buy some of their skates. And I've tested the Impalas that they sell. Like, again, they're okay. They're not the best. They're, they're low quality, but they're not gonna hurt you as much as these potentially could. So especially for $140, you can get a much, much, much better quality skate. Like, a way better quality skate. Like, they should not be charging $140 for these. They should be charging $40 for these. And even then, you shouldn't buy them. So, <laughs> They're not functional. The value for what you get is embarrassing. Yeah, they're really cute, but they don't work. They don't work. I think that's really all I have to say about these skates. Please don't buy them. Be safe, you guys. If you want some other skates that are around this price point that are much, much better products, check the caption below. I have some recommendations of some of my favorite skates that are around this price point. Please save your money, save your time, save your body. Don't buy these. Dolls kill, why are you? Major fail, you're capitalizing on a trend and real roller skaters don't appreciate it because people are gonna put these on and think that they can't skate when really there's a company just selling a bad product um, because they're trying to make money off of a trend and that's just not cool. It just bums me out. Wow, the sunset is beautiful right now. Really guys, check this out. Ah, you can't really see it but I love parking garages. They're my favorite place to hang out and skate, especially this one. Wow, golden hour. Whew. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If there are other roller skates that you want me to test out, put them down in the comments below. I am going to try to get as many of these lower price point skates as I can and keep trying them because some are okay, some are good, and some are a total scam like these. So anyways, until next time. Later skaters. Bye.